Okay, let's calculate the following using synthetic division. State the restriction as well as the remainder. So we're doing 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3x minus 4 divided by x plus 5. Well, if we're looking at synthetic division here, um, you want to think about synthetic division as a x minus k, right? You're always looking at your k value. a here is equal to 1, right? An easy way to do this, right? If you're looking at x plus 5, you can just, um, you always plug in x is equal to k in a sense, right? Or you can just let, you find the x value that you're plugging in, you can just set each factor equal to 0, and you get negative 5. So I'm going to plug in negative 5, right? Um, so when I do negative 5 out for my synthetic division bar, which is this, Okay, so this is x cubed, x squared, x to the power 1, x to the power 0, right? So you have 2 here, 5 here, 3 here, and negative 4 here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the 2, so you get 2 here, multiply it, negative 5 times 2, which is negative 10, 5 minus negative 10 is negative 5, negative 5 times negative 5 is 25, add these two together, you get 28, negative 5 times 28. So if you get negative 5 times 28, which is going to give us, um, should be approximately negative 140. Okay. And if you add these two together, you basically will get negative 144. Okay. So your remainder here should be in the form of x squared, x to the power 1, x to the power 0, and remainder, right? So this, all of this is your quotient. Right, and this is your remainder, right? So you should get a quotient and a remainder. Um, so this, you can tell that this is not, it doesn't go, it doesn't go in evenly, right? So it's not a factor. X plus five is not a factor of this, uh, this expression, two X cubed plus five X squared plus three X minus four, right? The restriction here, because you're dividing it, and this is like the denominator, X cannot, the restriction here is X cannot equal negative five in the sense of the division statement. Right, it's, it's a little redundant because we are plugging this value in, but that's the case, right? Um, and the quotient here is going to be 2x squared minus 5x plus 28, and the remainder here is negative 144. Now, you can write this one of two ways, right? So you can write this in factored form. You can write this expression 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3x minus 4 in factored form. So factored form looks like 2x squared minus 5x plus 28 times um, the divisor, right? So this is your divisor. This is the dividend, right? So times the divisor, which is x plus 5, plus the remainder, so plus negative um, 144. So we just say negative 144. Right, and that's factored form. You can also write it in quotient form. What quotient form looks like is you could write the quotient to so two, um, what is this? Two uh, x squared minus five x plus twenty-eight, right? Um, and then you could write the remainder over the divisor x plus five. Okay, so this is like the quotient form. Right, so this is a quotient, this is the remainder over the divisor, right? It's literally the same thing because you can get to the factor form because if you create a common denominator. So it's really the same thing, you can write it both ways, right? So uh, that's, the, that's the quotient. And you can also test using the remainder theorem to demonstrate that this is in fact the remainder, right? So if f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3x minus 4, if I plug in f of negative 5, Right, so it's it's really your k value, right? So you get two times negative five cubed plus five times negative five squared plus three times negative five minus four. So you get two times negative one twenty five uh, plus five times twenty five minus fifteen minus four, and you basically will get negative two fifty plus one twenty five minus nineteen which is negative 125 minus 19, which is negative 144. So we do see a sense of consistency, right, that the remainder here is negative 144 like we saw. Okay, so there's a bunch of different ways to uh, get to our answer.